Love Week continues on Philly Live as we count down to Valentine's Day this Sunday. But we know the pandemic has presented so many challenges for couples from maintaining a romantic spark to adjusting to the new normal. So I spoke with a licensed therapist and relationship coach about how to keep love alive during the pandemic. Take a look. I love Philly. I lived in Philly for years. Oh, so that means that you know a bit about Philly's dating oh. scene then. Oh, yeah. Big <laughs> Philly, yeah, yeah. Or lack thereof. <laughs> Whether you're trying to light the flame or keep it burning, licensed therapist and relationship coach Babita Spinelli says there are simple ways couples can keep love alive during the pandemic. When it comes to relationships, I am sure that you have seen it all. <laughs> but the pandemic has had a kind of impact on relationships and couples that we've never really seen before. What have you found? I have found that people are experiencing too much of a good thing, that relationships are experiencing their own Groundhog's Day on a day-to-day -day basis because you have two people super stressed out, sitting in uncertainty, and at the same time, together more than ever before in their own homes. And so from that, uh, what tips and advice do you have to help couples keep that spark during such a dark time? Each individual should and I would encourage have their own self-care plan and let the other partner support that because right now everyone's together a lot and they need a little breathing room. So if they can lean into their partner and say, I need to go for a bike ride, I need a break, I need to like read a book, um, they can then feel recharged with each other and then come back to each other. So that's an important one. What do you mean by what's your twitch level? Is that, you know, at, at what point are you about to tick off? <laughs> what does exactly. that mean? Like, if the pressure cooker, you're going to explode and nothing good's gonna come out of us spending any more time together right now. Understand that things are messy right now and reset your expectations of each other. Mm. But realize that, you know, your partner may not exactly be, you know, the guy or the girl that you were with pre, you know, COVID. Yeah, that is true because as people have lost their jobs, they've lost loved ones, so much of their life has changed. Yes, there is so much loss right now. And I really want to encourage couples to say it doesn't mean that they're in a bad relationship. Sometimes it just takes some small gestures to help stay connected and lean into some of these really small things. Even if you just say, hey, I love you, send a little text message, even yeah. in the same place, send a little text message, I love you, you know, or just something that can help everybody stay a little bit more positive. Yeah, it's really those little things that go a long way. Babita's office is based out of New York, but her therapy and relationship sessions are available through virtual appointments. We've got more information in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com and the NBC10 app.